I'm gonna call this series Man Cribs. Yay. Man Cribs. This light, you can't tell me that doesn't look cool. It makes my car look like it's like the matte raven color. I don't know if it shows on camera. But basically he has like all of these tools and stuff. And this what this light is for is it like it shows the dents and stuff. Like that door has like five dings in it. You see all of this stuff, guys? That is what you're gonna end up needing to fix the dents on your car. So it's a lot more mm -hmm. than just a pusher upper. Like there's different things you have to glue. There's like small ones, there's big ones, like Oh yeah. Yeah, see different there's different pull tabs and shapes and sizes. Yeah. Hot glue goes right onto there. And different shapes and sizes. It all depends on what the Oh, there's a like. square oh, one yeah. too. Yeah. Huh. So you have to have all kinds. Yeah. Yeah, you could probably do it yourself, but do you really, really feel like buying all that? I mean, think about that. That's a lot of crap. Right? So basically what he's doing now is he's sticking that thing up in under the hood yeah. because of that little acorn dent. That is now just about going. Fixed. There it is. Nice. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I don't know if you can see that little dent right You kind of can. Can you see if you look at it from my angle? Straight down this way, that little guy. I mean, I can see it, but I don't, I can't. Okay, there we go. You see right. how that, it you like rings? You can probably see when I start to push behind it, you can probably see the metal move. I'm just barely pushing on it. But if you can see the dent right now, give it a second. And if I get a tool right in there in the right spot, I'll give it a little push, a couple little pushes really. And that's it, it's up and out. That came out a little bit on the high side, which is fine. Right. Because now I can shape it from the outside just by grabbing a nylon knockdown. And blend that little high spot away okay and that was just one of those teeny tiny little dents right on okay all right boys so That's this it. is this is where we're at right there definitely come here he's got like a wicked nice house he's got a big man cave garage make it look like we're working on the car sure I mean, technically, we are. Right, it's body work. We're boosting it, boys. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a supercharger in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that one we'll definitely be able to see because that's yeah. like a door ding. Right there. That's the dent that we're going to be fixing here. Looks like a hole in the car in the camera, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Right? Yeah, that's a good one. Right on a hard body line, too. Yeah. So that always makes it a little more challenging, but not impossible. And then you got a bigger, softer one up there. Yeah. So we're going to try to clean it off because yeah. of the paint from it dinging. You don't see that much. You see a lot of gray. You just exactly. Don't see That's why I want it. Lime green or electric green. You don't see it much. Right. Let's see. I'm going to get something in there. I think. Now, one tool I had in mine might be a little big, but we'll try that first. Want me to grab it? Uh, sure, yeah, it's right there, yeah. This one? Yeah, yep, great, thanks. No problem. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, you can kind of sort of see the tip of the tool as I wave it back and forth across that dent, you know. So that's part of the trick, being able to see the tip of the tool. Yeah, I can see and it. And then you start off a little slow. A few pushes at a time. You don't want to get rough and just go in there and start cranking away because you can split the paint or basically just make a mess of it. Oh, the could you? You can if you're not careful. I didn't know that. And it all depends on how hard the, uh, the car was hit with the other car door. And on a hard body line, you can certainly weaken the paint right there in that one spot. Yeah. So if you're not careful, you can either just crack the paint or make that repair look so poked at it just doesn't leave 
to a good finish but and it's going to take a little work so what happens now is the metal does travel when it gets hit so it not only right. goes in but it can also go up and out yeah and it can leave a big crown so i know there's a small crown probably can't see it where you are but there's a crown i can yeah the little white thing so i'm gonna move that back you're gonna take your oh, it's the thing. smallest of little crowns right here but that's about it i'm gonna tap down didn't take much i think that's pretty much all i gotta do yeah. there and it's a little high right here and i can go back in and push out the rest and there really isn't much left right now looks new to me all right and i think the wrap will cover any little imperfections oh god yeah of course yeah honestly to fix the scratches i was just like asking people and you know how to sand down scratches i don't care what the paint looks like you know yeah i mean i do but eventually i want to paint it that way i have two cool colors you yeah. know what i mean i got yeah. so got the wrap thing. color and then i got a cool one underneath okay that's good okay right. no one will ever see that one now i can move on to the bigger one up top it's a big soft one this might not be the right tool for that angle but i don't know if you guys can see it but it's right there it sure is oh here it is i might have to use something a little bigger but a little bigger maybe But the idea is to keep pushing all that low area up a little bit at a time until it all just kind of blends go. together. Yes. Actually, I'm gonna have to move my light back and there's probably a there is a crown here I'll end up knocking down blending that away it's like seeing it with that light it's just like it's crazy how much damage he did in a month yeah you know like it's like are you kidding me man it didn't take him long Oh, right? Yeah. I'm driving it through the woods like a legend. <laughs> awesome. So, and boom. Now, that dent doesn't want to come out anymore, but I can still tell it's a little shallow. So that's where I'm going to knock down this, this crown here yeah. and blend the rest of that metal back into where it was. But I want to use something special for that. And it basically looks like a rubber ball that I screw on the end of my knockdown hammer. And it really is a rubber ball. Right on. It's a bouncy ball. Yep. <laughs> And again, not hitting it too hard where right, I leave yeah. dimples. Don't want to do that either. Because then you just end up creating work for yourself. You had to fix that. But a little bit of finesse is all you need. finesse and that's that pretty and much it should have blended that all the way knowing what to do and there you go guys everything is fixed hey okay, boy so we are actually going to be removing the touch-up paint that Paul thought I would not notice and he noticed this over here as well something that I did not notice that is touch-up paint that's not sap It's crazy, man. How 
dumb does he think I am? Plain old lacquer thinner. Lacquer thinner. That's how you take it off. That's with a it. Rag. Yep. And who knows what we're gonna find under that touch-up paint? Alcohol. Rubbing alcohol. Yeah, rubbing alcohol. And you clear all the wax. It's the stuff you have to use to clean your car before you wrap it. And then he's gonna like put his little sticker things. I don't know what they're called. Yeah. And then we're gonna pull her on up. So. These are small pull tabs. This is hot glue, dent pulling glue, and I'll just start with a small one. Sticking it on there. I'm gonna let that set just for a few seconds. Doesn't take long. Yeah. Instead of having to take the entire... Oh, there's a couple of dents up there. Yep. See the other one to the left of it? And then... This will pull that little plastic thing. Hold yeah. On. Yeah, these are the ones that I've seen on Amazon, like dent removal. Yeah, so it's um, a professional setup, and you don't have to pull very hard. And that probably took off or took up one of those little dents. The alcohol on the glue, so the glue comes off. Okay, that oh, definitely, yeah, definitely pulled that did. up. Which is okay, just like the last one, if it comes up a little high, I, I'm not concerned. I just knock that back down, blend it away. And then we'll just keep going with the, the rest other of one. Them. The other ones will be just the same way. That was a little bigger. Are we pushing up the trunk one or doing it like this? I might push that one up. Yeah. There's plenty of access underneath. So I'm gonna try to get that in the middle. And let's see, give that a second. Let it dry. Mm-hmm. Wait, is there three of them up there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there's one to the like far right as well. Kinda. Yeah, that should be long enough. You can see it pull. Yeah. Sometimes I don't wait long enough and I pull it up. Right. And the glue didn't dry. Yeah, it came up some, so keep at it. So you gotta do it a couple of times? Yep, usually. Yeah, you see the other one that I'm talking oh, about yeah. right there? Right there. Yeah. You learn something new every day, boys. Mm -hmm. That white really, really helps, you know? Yeah. There you go. And the cool thing about this, getting this taken care of, guys, is you got to remember that I'm. Ha this basically makes your car paint look like a, a satin matte color. And you got to realize that I'm wrapping my car this color. So all of these imperfections are going to show. It's, a, it's one of the downsides of wrapping your car with a satin or a matte color, you know? So that's why we're taking care of all of this. Thankful for me, I have a lot of friends in the car community that recommended me to come up here. Finishing Touches told me about you. Steve. I gotta get one of those battery things for this. Cause I record at like 4K, 100,000 bit rate. The freaking batteries. I it was at a hundred when I got here. It's yeah. only forty seven. Oh man. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So I gotta get they have like this charging station. It comes with two extra batteries. Yeah. And then the station itself is a charger. So basically you get two extra batteries. The battery in your um whatever in your camera and it basically recharges them all. Nice. So it's like basically having six batteries, which is Nice. Yeah. That's like sap right there or something. Uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, could be. See it? If that's touch up paint, bro, I'm going to lose my shit because there's a ding right there. 
You guys got to keep in mind, I never use touch-up paint on this car, oh. ever. Sweet. All right. Just get in there. Pulled him up. Oh, nope. wait. No, you got to hit it down. I got to knock him down now. Yeah. I brought him up high. A little too high. <laughs> My avalanche in the background. <laughs> Fun truck. Knocking him down is shorter than bringing him up. One. Ooh. Another one. Ready? All right. Yep. There we go. Than it is, but it, yeah. <laughs> well, it's because it's a big piece, you know. Yeah. There we go. One. And a little more. And yeah, move on to the next one. Cool. The camera's there. picking up like the waves. Oh, nice. And then there's a couple more dents around that area, but I'll knock this down first. And then I'll go back and I'll push these up. Or yeah. Pull them up. Looking good, boys. And like I said, or I haven't actually said it, delete that. <laughs> Gotta delete it. <laughs> That's what I do. Yeah, just say delete it, delete it, you know, while I'm editing. So even though I'm showing you guys how you do this, you really should pay somebody to have it done because, you know, unless you don't mind having a couple of screw-ups on your car, you know, it's, it's like wrapping your car. Mm. Yeah, anybody can wrap a car, but to do it the right way, you know what I mean? It's, you should just always find someone local, support your local businesses. There you go, that should be enough. Saves you the time and hassle, plus they have all the tools. <laughs> you yeah. know? Some things are better left to the professional, that's all. Right? Well, I mean, you think about it, you know, it's kind of like after you buy all the stuff, you know what I mean? All that time, it's basically paying itself, you know? Yeah. There it is. Okay. Time to knock the high spots down again. I tried not to make the high spots too big. Great work for myself, but... Okay. And then there's a dent back there, but I'll knock this down first. And a little more to go. I don't even see any. Oh, okay. I see it right That's not right yeah. there. <laughs> it's pretty small now. Yeah. What do you guys think? Should I put those underneath my car? Yeah. <laughs> you go back to Fast and the Furious, the original yeah. one. <laughs> Underglow. Oh, that's cool. You got like a twist on it. Oh, yeah. It can be done that way, too. You just need to be a little accurate, that's all. Yeah. Pull that one up.
And maybe a little more right there. It's so slight, but I can yeah, see it's it the, the curve. On. Yeah, yeah, it's the curve. It's a pain in the butt. It won't take much now, yeah. You guys think should I get one of those things mm -hmm. for the winter? He actually has one for sale down the road. Yeah, two grand if you need one, Good or one two or grade. three. Right when you pull in. There we go. That should do it. Knock her on down a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, we can even go at it one more time. Oh yeah, that yeah, one? Might as well, yeah. Super tiny one. Yeah. It's like so small, it's like a, <laughs> it's like someone like a dropped a BB pellet on it or something. It doesn't take long for it to set. Oh, how do you know? It just like shows? No, not at all. I just kind of wait a few seconds and hope that it did. Yeah. <laughs> that's about all. Oh, so that's what you do if it's like a tiny one, you whack and you just don't pull it as hard? Yeah. Still came up high enough, but. Yeah. Still. Not too bad. You can even go after the tiniest little thing there if you wanted to, and tiniest little thing there too. Honest, I don't know if you can I see it. I don't see it. <laughs> I can't. Looks good to me, man. And that, my friends, is how you get it done. Or, no, oh, uh, what is it? Get her done. Yeah. Larry. Yeah. So we took care of that one. We took care of these ones. Yeah, trunk. And now, I gotta save the rest of my battery for the aftermath when it's all fixed. <laughs> Trunk's fixed. And this is how you do the door. You get like a window guard protector thing. You shove these two things. And then you can put tools down in there to fix. I don't know if you guys are going to see it. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of them on this door. It's just hard for you guys to be able to see with the camera. No, it's okay. Yeah, you guys can't see them. But either way, it's kind of cool. Alright, boys. So that is the finished product. No more dings or anything. Trunks taken care of. We are going to have to go up to uh, Walmart and grab some sandpaper because that's what the idiot did and tried to touch up. Like, you guys saw that before, the touch up paint? 
that's what he tried doing and there's i don't know if this is from him or if it's from me because it is kind of uh, that's not something you would look at you know what i mean and obviously me recording videos isn't gonna pick that up but as you can see like up here there's like some bubbles we're definitely gonna have to fix those because they the bubbles will show up under the wrap but again i don't care what the paint job looks like under the wrap i'm just sand those down you know my concern was the wrap because that led light that he has um it kind of makes your car look like a matte color like it's wrapped in a matte wrap so the wrap would have picked up all of those dents but now that they're gone it's looking pretty good appreciate it man oh, you're very welcome thank again, you again guys France paintless dent removal. You'll get your car done in a couple hours. You can keep in mind, my car was pretty shit. Like it was it had a lot of dents. We had to do four panels plus a bunch of the smaller ones. So yeah.